Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about projectors and projector screens. A few months ago I posted this video across my social media accounts. It's essentially a demo of the Ambilight system I added to my projector screen not too long ago. Now an Ambilight system is just a string of LEDs that you put around a projector screen or TV and they change color depending on what's on the screen at any given point in time. Now I got so many different questions and comments about the system that I decided it would be the perfect topic for a video. So today I'm going to be giving you an overview of how everything works starting right now on Stuff with Steven. Now let's start off by talking about the major focal point of this system which is that big projector screen. It measures 60 inches tall by 107 inches wide. That gives it a diagonal measurement of about 123 inches. Since most of the content I watch is shot in 16.9, I decided to build the screen in that aspect ratio. That means I can watch more videos without having black bars at the top or bottom or the left or right of my picture. I built the screen myself and it's actually pretty simple. It's just a big wooden frame that has blackout cloth that's been stretched around and stapled in place with enough tension that there's no wrinkles in the screen surface. Now this trim here that you see around the edges is actually the same trim you'd see in your house around a door or something and I covered that trim in black felt tape to give the screen a nice professional and finished look. It really only took about a day to build this thing. The projector I'm using is the Optoma HD141X. It's a DLP style projector that I've had for about two years now, and to be honest, I've been pretty pleased with its performance. It packs 3000 lumens of brightness and a contrast ratio of 20,000 to 1. Now contrast ratio is a measurement of how well a projector shows blacks, so with this one having such a high contrast ratio, that means that dark movie scenes show pretty well. Now I already enjoy having the projector and the screen, but I wanted to take this thing next level, and that's why I added the Ambilight system. This system consists of 531 LEDs positioned around the perimeter of the screen, and depending on what I'm watching, the LEDs change color to reflect that. Okay, so let me give you a quick demonstration of exactly how the Ambilight system works. So I'm gonna take something that's red here, and I'm going to put it over here by the edge of the screen and you see that now the LEDs over there have turned red because that's what's going on in that particular section of the screen and now I can do that for any section of the screen and get the LEDs to change color and so there's my red example and you know just because it's fun here is a blue and if I can you know get it over there And so really whatever is going on on camera, the LEDs are going to change color to match that. You know, just looking at this frame now, this the room, I got a lot of light going on here because I'm trying to make sure you can see me well. And as I watch this on the projector screen, the room's going to be brighter because I got all these LEDs over here on this side that are going to be white. But then what's crazy is, you know, right over here on this side where I got the appliances and everything, that's going to be black. And so it really sort of tries to mirror the environment that's going on on camera. The system also has a few different ambient modes, so when I'm not watching anything, I can make the LEDs change color depending on what I want to see. There's mood lighting, strobe effects, and just about any color I can think of. I actually think it's pretty cool. So this contraption here is the brains behind the Ambilight system. And even though it looks a little weird, it's actually pretty straightforward in the way that it works. So in here I have a Chromecast since that's how I primarily watch most of my content on the projector. Now, thinking about that Chromecast, when the video signal comes out of it, it gets split. And one side goes out to the projector to be displayed on the screen as usual. The other side is where things get interesting because this side goes through a series of adapters and converters to get the video signal into a Raspberry Pi. 
Now Raspberry Pi is just a small computer and what it does is it analyzes the video signal to see what's going on on the screen at any given point in time. Now based on what it sees, it takes that and converts it into instructions that it can send out through these wires and up to the screen to tell the LEDs what they need to do for the Ambilight system to work correctly. So thanks for stopping by to watch this video about my projector and Ambilight system. If you're interested in building your own Ambilight system or your own projector screen, I've linked a couple of videos down in the description that have some useful resources for you. I've also linked the equipment and supplies that I'm using if you want to take a look at that as well. If you like the video, be sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like DIY projects, cars, or technology, be sure to subscribe to the channel because that's what it's going to be all about. Anyway, I've got some important stuff I've got to take care of, so I'll see you guys on the next one.